Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here and welcome back. Today is April 3rd of 2020 and let's get rolling. Uh, market's been mostly green today. Bitcoin's at 67.54, Ethereum's at 144.44 and XRP is at 0.178 dollars which, uh, which is a little over 17 and a half cents. Uh, and we have we have been over 18 cents today and we dipped below but it looks like we're fighting to get back up there. So. Moving on, Chris Larson had posted this on Twitter yesterday and said, thank you to everyone on the front lines keeping us safe. Uh, I'm truly grateful to report that I've made a full recovery from the current event. Um, if you've recovered from the virus, please consider donating your blood to help with antibody transplants. So this is fantastic. It's not fantastic that he got it, but it's fantastic that uh, Chris Larson has recovered and he's donating his blood um, so that he can help other people um, heal from this uh, from this this uh, this virus. So good on Chris Larson. Glad to see he's okay. I hope everyone else at Ripple headquarters is healthy. Um, hopefully he's the only person that got it. Um, but uh, my best to everyone there at Ripple headquarters. And if anyone else is battling it, I wish him the best and, and hope that they get well soon. Um, and uh, and glad he's back on the on the front line with um, with Ripple. So. Good, good to see he's back in the game. Marcus Treacher posted this today, um, actually at 4 a.m., and said, in a world under pressure, we're still driving hard and building our network. Another big Ripple milestone I'm proud of, money transfer service as Zemo partners with Siam Commercial Bank for faster payments to Thailand. So a Zemo is the payments company, and they're using Siam Bank to, uh, to process uh, or Siam Bank is actually using Zemo's um, uh, platform to process um, their faster payments, which is fantastic. And I'm going to let you, because Ripple posted this also yesterday, it says, customers say it best, hear how uh, S Siam Bank um, Thailand capitalized on a $68 billion remittance market opportunity with the help of RippleNet. So I'm going to have the actual customer explain to you what they're doing and how it works. My name is Atit Siam Phong. Uh, I work for Siam Commercial Bank as the SVP of business platform. Siam Commercial Bank is the first bank in Thailand and the largest bank uh, here in terms of total assets. Previously, when our customer would like to transfer the money to their family and friends abroad, it was very inconvenient. They have to visit our branch, they need to fill in lots of forms, they need to wait probably three to five days in order for their friends and family to receive the money. And they have no clarity at all whether they already received the money or not. With RippleNet, we can offer a real-time money transfer uh, to those countries. We will have full clarity uh, once the beneficiary already received the money. There will be a notification through their mobile app, uh, which they will receive right away. And this creates lots of peace of mind. Um, and change the customer experience completely. Partnering with Ripple, we can expand our reach uh, through remittance companies around the world. So now we're working with one of our partners to create something new in the market. Imagine if you are a tourist, that you will come to Thailand and you can use your home country mobile application and scan for payment in Thailand. You don't have to exchange for local currency um, that you will bring to Thailand at all. You can use your mobile app, acting like you're living in your home country, scan for QR payment, and you receive the goods right away. This creates a new customer experience that never had before. And with the partnership with uh, Ripple, we can do this and we can provide this service to our customers. I don't know about you guys, but I've said this before. I just cannot wait to get rid of cash. I don't like carrying it. I don't like dealing with it. And I cannot wait till we go fully digital. So sooner the better. But that is a great testimonial from a Ripple customer. And I'm glad they posted that. This is Mike Novogratz. You guys may have seen this as well. Um, Mike Novogratz, I'm going to let you listen to this quickly. I am seeing investors I never saw before, hedge fund investors, high net worth investors, getting into Bitcoin for the first time. And so... I said this in a tweet, this is the year for Bitcoin, and if it doesn't go a lot by the end of the year, I think I might just hang my spurs. Okay, so posted by X, um, by Stuart XRP, who's on Twitter, at XRP underscore, underscore Stuart. 
Um, Mike Novogratz, who's an investor in Ripple, who's been a Bitcoin maximalist um, uh, to the end of the world, doesn't speak of XRP, states the following, this is the year for Bitcoin, and if it doesn't go up, uh, up a lot by the end of the year, I think I just might hang up my spurs. Um, and then he goes on to say, we should have doubled within six months, maybe within the end of the year, uh, retesting the old highs of the 20,000s. So um, I think that uh, that the Bitcoin maximalists um, are cracking a little bit. And it will be interesting if Bitcoin doesn't do its thing by the end of the year, uh, if Mike start might start talking about his other investment, which is Ripple, that... Uh, that holds a bunch of XRP. So whether he holds XRP or not personally, which I suspect he does, but if he doesn't, the fact that he's invested in Ripple means he's invested in XRP. So um, interesting to hear him say that. All right, moving on. Michael Arrington posted this, trying to process this, and this is the mammoth, um, let's see, the mammoth U.S. unemployment claims in their historical context. So it goes 1968, 1970, 1975. So it shows you unemployment claims over the years and then we're going to see what's happening now watch this graph it's insane it's going up and up and up and i don't think we've seen the last of it that is just an incredible graph wow wow is that a visual or what if, if you're driving i'm sorry you didn't get to see that but um you should try and get back and see that. It's amazing. Another thing Michael Arrington said uh, on Twitter was, when April is over, we will look back on March fondly. And uh, I think he's right. I think things are going to get worse before they get better. So I have uh, told everyone around me to plan for the worst in the next 30 to 90 days before the healing starts. Um, but it's going to be a messy rest of the year. Um, but, uh, but I don't think we're going to see much healing before at least uh, 30 to 90 days. Um, Mac Attack posted this, and, and one of my listeners had made a comment that this has kind of slipped through the cracks and hasn't gotten a lot of news, so I thought I would cover it. Bank of France says Ethereum and Ripple XRP could power central bank digital currencies. And if you go into the actual story, it says the central bank of France is launching an experimental program to investigate the feasibility of rolling out its own central bank digital currency which we all talk about as CBDCs, uh, for interbank settlements. In a document released on Monday, the Bank of France invited interest, interested parties to participate in the program with application due by May 15th. And here was a quote from them. The challenge of these experiments is not to replace these existing forms, not to replace these two existing forms of central money, but to identify how uh, innovative technologies could improve the efficiency and fluidity of payment systems and financial infrastructures allowing a better financial sector to ensure the smooth financing of the economy. So interesting, I, I can't even count the amount of countries that have come out and said they are working on a digital, um, uh, a, a digital currency. I mean, the amount of central banks, there was, a, there was a count last month of 18, and certainly it's more than that now. So they are working on those, and it is fantastic. Um, for those who have been following my, my plight on uh, Twitter with the SBA in, in applying for an SBA loan, uh, here is a tweet I did last night. Here's a breakdown of the current SBA, uh, which is sba.gov programs. I suspect they are subject to change, but it's a great guide for business owners and 1099 independent contractors. Hope this helps. So I'm going to open this up for anyone that might want to screenshot this. Otherwise, you can go to my Twitter and you could see the picture there. This is a breakdown of all the different SBA programs that are being offered right now, how they compare, how they work, and, and, and whether there's forgiveness, whether you have to put up collateral, and all that good stuff. Uh, but take a look at this if, if you're interested. And, um, and the emergency grant is the initial uh, program that I think anybody that's applying for these other programs, you want to start here. So hopefully that's helpful to folks, and, and I wanted to share that with you. And the last thing I want to cover is I saw this by fact on Twitter. It said, "Don't know which, uh, don't know whether to write effect with an A or effect with an E. Use impact instead." And boy, I'll tell you what, I appreciate that because I get stuck on that all the time. Whether it's a effect or effect, um, it's a tough one. But I want to share that with you guys. Short one today. Thank you for joining me. 
Um, I, uh, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a police officer, but I'd like to thank police officers. In fact, over 1,700 NYPD police officers are now sick. Uh, so, so I want to thank all police officers for their service. I know they're going through hard times right now, and it's dangerous out there. Um, so I'm not a police officer, and I'm not a crypto expert. These are my opinions only. Don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Please like and subscribe, and hit the notifications button, and share with anybody who you think might do the same. If you haven't not um, subscribed by now, please do subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. And if there is any good news over the weekend, I will definitely shoot out a video. Otherwise, I will see you all on Monday. Please make the best of your weekend, and most importantly, stay healthy. Thank you.